Hi, I'm Rob Bolin, Jurgensen Product Manager for Magnetic Level Products. Today we're going to do a quick demo going over a magnetator, the main components, and why each of them are important. With any magnetic level indicator, you have three main components. You have the chamber, you have the float, and you have the indicator. Chamber construction. A Jurgensen magnetator is going to have a minimum of Schedule 40 pipe. Other manufacturers will go all the way down to Schedule 10. The reason that's important is a Schedule 10 pipe is a lot thinner than a Schedule 40 pipe. Here's two side by side. Schedule 10 pipe is going to cause problems if you have any sort of vibration or you have any sort of excessive corrosion. A Schedule 40 pipe is much, much better equipped to handle those things. So Jurgensen will always use Schedule 40 as a minimum chamber construction. Um, we sell chambers in 2 inch, 2.5 and inch, and 1.5 and inch for low pressure applications. The Jurgensen float. The Jurgensen float is constructed from two deep drawn float halves. They are sealed together with an autogenous weld. An autogenous weld basically means that there's no lip. The reason that's important is when the float is floating up and down in the chamber, it's much less likely to get hung up by having no lip there from the weld. A Jurgensen float also contains two Alnico 8 ring magnets with north poles facing each other. We lock them together with a spacer ring, and anybody who's ever played with magnets before knows that two north poles oppose each other. And one of the rules of magnetism is that flux lines cannot cross. And so when you lock two north poles uh, facing each other, what you're doing is you're projecting dense flux lines outside of the float. And that, that creates a very strong magnetic field on the outside of the chamber, which is then used to drive the indicator. This is a Jurgensen wide indicator. It has an industry leading 1.5 inch width. What that means is you'll be able to see it from the widest viewing angle. The indicator assembly has a track assembly filled with flags and then also a scale assembly showing you where the fluid level is. Each flag on the track assembly is constructed from stainless steel and is painted with high temperature paint. Each flag within the track has its own individual bar and magnet. That means the flags are magnetically coupled together, making it much less likely that they'll come out of sequence. When you combine that with the fact that you have a float with a very strong magnetic field, it makes it almost impossible for the flags to become out of sequence. This is a different type of indicator called our Night Star. It has a power supply and LED lights running down the side that makes it much more visible. These are very handy if you want to be able to look at the magnetator up high at night or in dimly lit places. To show you how strong the magnetic field is, I'll pull the float inside this chamber up and down really fast and show you that no flags come out of sequence. One of the main problems you'll find with other manufacturers is that flags come out of sequence. So what you have is you have maintenance people have to go out to the magnetic level indicator and then run a magnet up and down it to reset it. You don't have to do that with Jurgensen Magnetator. For more information, visit www.jurgensen.com.